Spirit Word family. You are beautiful people. I want to say to you that Jesus loves you so, so much. And Jesus is here this morning. You've got a divine appointment with Him. A divine appointment with Him. You've been set up by heaven to be here. It's no coincidence that you are here today. So God's about to reach you wherever you are. It's quite a big building. There are people right there at the back. God's going to reach you right there. And even all the people that's watching online, God's going to reach you. Let's give Jesus all the praise. Amen. For His tangible presence in this place. We love you, Jesus. We love you. What would we be without Jesus? Who's experiencing a strong presence of glory, tangible presence of God? So I've been asking God, God, what are you going to do this morning? And uh, before I get there, I want to say to Pastor Pietrus and Monique and the three beautiful children, you have been so set apart by God. You have been sanctified by God. You have been called upon by God. God's eyes have struck your house. God's eyes have struck your house. When I look at you, and this is what I see in this church, but it permeates from your life to this church because this is the way God works. There's a spirit of responsiveness that has been rising up in your hearts. You are responding to God's intent. You are responding strongly to God's intent. Many things are about to shift this morning in the spirit, but much more is about to shift in the natural, in the span of time in the next few months. When glory hits, you cannot stop it. You cannot stop God's intentions. When you start operating in glory, you go into timelines and time zones where the enemy has tried to trip you up for the future, but God has intervened. Jesus said to Peter, I've prayed for you that your faith will not fall because Satan has tried to sift you as wheat. But you see, Jesus went into the glory zone and could see what the enemy has tried to do. And he put a stop to what Satan has tried to do with Peter's life. I want to say to you today that God has put a stop to what the enemy has tried to do in this ministry. You must hear what the Spirit of God is saying. Listen to what God's Spirit is saying. God is calling on you. God is calling you out. God is calling you higher. The encounters that is reserved for you for this time, in this hour, in this year, and in the next year are encounters that has been reserved by the Spirit of God to bring huge transformation and change you into the strong image and likeness of God. God is about to show off with you. People has tried to, listen, the enemy has tried to work, work through people to open up a grave for you and to bury you. It has not worked. It's not worked. Listen. Listen. It's not worked. Listen, I, I, <laughs> you don't understand what's happening here. You don't understand what's happening here. There's a spirit of responsiveness, of responsiveness that has invaded the sacred space in this ministry. Responding to the touch of God. Responding to the call of God. Responding to God's intent for this time and in this hour, for this region and above and far beyond this region. Because God is creating a, a divine platform for His purpose. Amen. Nothing and no one else will navigate your life but the Spirit of God. Amen. It's happening. 
It's happening. Divine intervention is happening in your lives. I want to say to you this morning, you are sitting in an atmosphere of miracles. I don't know what your circumstances are. I don't know what has, is happening in your life. I don't know what you're encountering. I don't know what, you're up, what obstacles you are facing. I don't know what you're, you're facing and what the enemy has tried to bring against your life, but it will not work because God is a God of miracles. God, He says, if I'm for you, who can be against you? And you have already overcome the world because your Savior, Jesus Christ, has redeemed you by His precious blood. And this hour belongs to God in your life and not to the enemy. This hour, this hour, not tomorrow, this hour belongs to God. God is about to shift your situation and His glory is about to hit your house. Listen, it's happening now. Not tomorrow, today. It's happening today. There's a spirit of responsiveness. I see people here today, God is invading all your activities. God is bringing a correction to your activities. God is bringing a blessing to your activities. God is about to double you, to multiply you. God is about to expand you. God is about to remove all your limitations and all the things that has tried to hinder you to advance. God is removing those things. God is giving you favor. Listen, it stands in Proverbs chapter 3 that God will give you favor with Himself and favor with people. Even the enemy that has your enemies that didn't want to see you to pro see you prosper god is changing their perspective god is changing their perspective God, listen, there's miracles hitting your house right now. In this very moment, it's hitting your house this very moment. Listen, this is glory. We are operating and walking in glory. The glory cloud of God is here. Where the glory is, there's provision. Where the glory is, there's healing. Where the glory is, there's breakthrough. Where the glory is, there's transformation. Where the glory hits, when the glory hits, you're being shifted from the natural realm to the supernatural realm. That's where you operate in the fourth dimension. That's where you see chains being removed. That's where you see angels manifesting. That's where you see prison doors opening. That's where you see God guiding you out of your situation into the divine place that He prepared for you. That's what happens when the glory hits that's what happens when the glory hits but you see God needs to shift your mind God needs to shift your spirit God needs to shift your perspective right into the glory zone I want to say to you today that God is invading your space with his glory Listen, this is what God is saying to you in this ministry. This is what God is saying to you in this house. We are serving a supernatural God. We don't serve a common God. We don't serve a God of routine. We serve a God of passionate love that is jealous about his relationship with you. And he says, I will not share you with anything that is wanting to distract you from my presence. God removing those things. Oh divine intervention spirit of responsiveness there's a zone that God is calling us into there's a new expression of God's glory hitting the earth this expression will not allow his people to be tied up with the affairs of this world this expression will not allow his people to be tied up with the motives and the manipulation, the control of man and the events of this world. This new expression of his glory will set you free because he who the sun sets free, he's free indeed. There where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. It's the word of God and the word of God is living. It's active and it's, it's a sword and it cuts between my brother, my sister, between the soul and the spirit. It removes things that has tried to trip you up. I wanna to say to you today, 
that God's about to double your income. Listen to what God is saying because your limitations has tried to bog you down. Listen, this is not about becoming rich. This is about His intentions for you. Oh my word, don't miss the heart of God. Don't miss the heart of God. It's about His intentions for you. You see, God loves providing. God loves providing. You can see providence right from the start. You see, there's something about the glory. You need two ingredients when the glory comes. You see, when Genesis chapter 1 says, In the beginning, the earth was formless and void, and the Spirit of God, there was deep darkness about, upon the earth, but the Spirit of God was hovering over all this. The Spirit of God, the glory of God. And then God said, so what do you need if you want to create something? You need glory. Glory. You need glory. This is what you're experiencing now. This is glory. Listen, it's thickening. Around here, there's a huge cloud. There's also a cloud on this side, but this side, whoo, whoo, whoo. I can, I can hardly see your faces. If you could only see what I see. If you can only see what I see. But listen. Divine intervention. God looked at this formless. God looked at this dark, deep darkness over the face of the earth, but His Spirit was hovering over the situation. First ingredient, if you want change, if the glory hits, listen for the sound. Because the next scripture, God said, God said, let there be light. And there was light. Boom! And the lights went on. So the first ingredient is glory. The second ingredient is sound. And so when we speak in the glory, God creates things that has not been before. And He speaks things into creation as though they were. Listen, God is doing this in this time and in this very hour. I want to say to you that God is shifting us to a new level of glory. There's a new expression of divine glory taking place on the face of this earth today. Your prayer life is about to change. Your marriage is, going, is about to go into another level of romance. For those who are marital stuck, maritally stuck, <laughs> you're getting out of that stuckness. We see God's glory, God's spirit. Listen, God's word says in Haggai, the latter glory will be greater than the former glory. Listen, the, the latter glory doesn't mean old glory. It means new glory. It means glory that hasn't been poured out on the face of this earth before. It's new. God says in the book of Joel and also in the book of Acts, that I'll pour out my spirit in the last days, I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. The last days doesn't mean old days. The last days means new days. And my spirit will be greater in these last days because it's new days and God is saying, I'm doing something new. I wanna say to you that God is about to do things in this ministry and He's already started that will surpass anything that has happened in the past because it's His doing. It's not man. It's His choice who He, rise, he raises up and who He anoints and who He allows to walk in His glory. I want to say to you that God is shifting things by His glory. Listen. We need the glory. We need to contend for the glory. The Spirit of God is, has been you know, when you read Acts chapter 2, people come, they get all together in the upper room and the Spirit of God, get, you know, the Holy Spirit gets, uh, pours out, is being poured out on them. They erupt in speaking in tongues and they look drunk under the Spirit and they fall over the place and the Sadducees and the Pharisees come and they say, these people are drunk men. And Peter looks at them and says, no, 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 it's not possible for them to be drunk. This is the Spirit of God. This is only the ninth hour. They can't be drunk as you suppose. They are filled with the Spirit of God. And they see this outpouring of the Spirit. But then we see things progressing. Going from 
Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 3, Acts chapter 4, Acts chapter 5. And all of a sudden now they get together and the Spirit of God is so strongly in their midst that there's such a strong unity that nothing divides them anymore. They love one another. They walk with one another. They are so in such a place of zeal with the Spirit of God and with what God's intentions are on the face of this earth that the Bible says they sold everything and they just put money together and they brought it to the apostles and then they just shared it with whoever ever needed it. Okay, there was such a strong move of God. And then there was this one guy and this one, this couple that decided they're just going to hold some money back. And Ananias and Sapphira. And they came in the atmosphere of glory. <sighs> now remember, listen people, it's the same dispensation as we are living in today. The same dispensation of grace. But there was such a thick cloud of glory that that deception could not be tolerated in that glory. (sighs) Listen, when the glory hits, it's there to uplift you, it's there to advance you, but it's not there to hide things away. It's not there to bring deception. It's not there to play around with. It's there for you to operate in the level that God has called you to operate in. And And listen, just think about that glory. Oh, and God says the latter days will be greater than the former days. Listen, where is God taking us to? I want to say to you that God is taking His church, His bride to a level of purity that we've not experienced before because God is wanting to give His bride a clear voice. And for you to have a clear voice, you have to have a pure life. God is cleaning out hearts. God is cleaning house. Where's my music? A little louder with my music. I I mean, God, we flow in a certain way. Listen, church is changing. And we're not even a church, we're a city on a hill. We're not even Christians, we co heirs with Christ. God is changing our language. Now too many Christians, they don't qualify. We've got too many dead walking Christians. God is changing the landscape. God is changing your landscape. I want to say to you that it's in the glory where we see things that matter. It's in the glory where we go into timelines and we retrieve from the Spirit what needs to be birthed on this earth. Where we can truly operate in the fourth dimension. Oh man, where am I I going? Are you guys with me? It's in the glory. Jesus, again, He's, do you see, within your heart, within your spirit, there's destiny locked up inside of you. You're a magnet of destiny. You have got the gift of eternal life. In other words, the beautiful blessing to know Him the beautiful honor to walk with Him, the beautiful honor to be entwined with Him. Those who are joined to the Lord is one spirit with Him. You become inseparable from Him. And God says, okay, you've created space in your life for me. I'm taking that space up for me. It's sacred space. It's my space. I'm gonna rule you. I'm gonna walk with you. And then we see this Peter who actually denied Jesus, who denied Jesus. Where Jesus said, listen, I've seen on the timeline of your life that Satan wanted to annihilate you. He wanted to sift you like wheat. He wanted to take you out. He wanted to kill you before your time. He saw destiny in you, just like I've placed within you. But I prayed for you, Peter, that your faith shall not fail. Your faith will still stand and you will still 
fulfill what I've spoken over your life. And yes, he did deny Jesus. And yes, he did have a hit on the side of his head. Just a little bit softer with my music. Thank you. Just go. Yeah, I know you're very, thank you so much. Otherwise, I have to scream louder. My voice can only take that much. Sorry, I'm just a passionate guy. I can speak slowly and softly. I can. But it's difficult when I'm on fire. When I'm on fire, it's difficult. Listen, and what did Jesus see? He went into a realm. You see, Jesus said, I only speak what the Father says. You see, Jesus says, I only do what I see the Father do. You see, Jesus operated in different realms. And he went into that realm where the devil planned to trip him up. And he confiscated that. He just said, I'm going to stop this. You come against my son's destiny, I'm stopping what you have tried. I'm stopping the day, the hour, and the moment that you wanted to kill him, I intervene. His destiny will be established and fulfilled. This is what God is doing in this ministry. You know, I don't have notes here. I don't go to, to a meeting on a holy hubble. I spend time with the Lord and I deliver what needs to be delivered. That's what I do. I'm an Amos kind of prophet. I have a farm, spend time with the farm, spend time with the Lord. And when God speaks, I go out. But Peter got so strong in the glory that when he walked and the shadow, his shadow fell on people, they got healed. God's on a journey with you that's about to surprise you. There are many surprises here for you. You know that God loves providing for His people. We see this from Genesis. He first finished up the garden. He created the perfect environment for Adam and Eve before He created them. And then he put them in the garden. He first provided for them. God's a God of provisional miracles. He loves, the whole Bible is filled with provisional miracles. There are here, people here today, your finances is changing right now. Listen, you don't understand what I'm saying. This ministry's finances is changing today. <laughs> this ministry's finances is going high up into the blue zone and not into the red zone any longer. Listen, God is upgrading. Listen, you can go and look at Elisha's life, Elijah's life. It was provisional miracles. What do you have in your house? A little bit of oil. <clears throat> Bake me a cake. My last one. Provisional miracle, boom, he supplied for her. The widows, Elijah and Elisha. You look at Jesus' first miracle. It was a provisional miracle. The wedding at Ghana turned water into wine, provided. A young boy, he's got a few loaves of bread and a few fish. Bring it here. Boom, 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 boom. Multiplication. Provide. Boom, 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 boom. Listen, the boom, 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 boom is about to hit your house. Listen, God is a God who provides. God loves providing. God loves providing. Jesus' last provisional miracle before He left the earth, He was standing on the beach. He was saying, hey, have you caught anything? He's already been crucified. He hasn't gone up to His Father yet, but He's standing there on the beach. And Peter, shirtless, struggling all night, been fishing all night, been doing everything he could do in his own, with his own methods trying to manufacture his own success. But you see, when the presence of God comes on your life, you don't need to manufacture your own success. You don't need to couple your name with someone else's name. Ooh. You don't need to throw out names to be known. Because where the presence of God is, people come. You don't manufacture your own success. He's the most important. He's the one that paid the price. And then we, yes, I know. I also say, yes, I pay a price to know Him this way, but it's not a price. It's not a price. Not for what He's already done. 
and what not for what he's done so that I can come into the holies of holies. And so that he qualified me to be there. Forget about your price. Forget about you. Think about him. What he's done for you. Jesus is standing on the beach. If you caught anything, no, you, you, no, you, you have to throw the net on the other side. Hey, listen, man, you know who you're talking to here. I'm a professional fisherman here. Who are you there on the beach telling me to throw my net on the other side? Okay, I'll do that. Doesn't recognize Jesus yet. The moment he did, he caught 100, they caught 153 fish. Okay, you can go and read it. Nearly sunk their business because of the prosperity that came into that boat that night. Listen, that day, that morning. 153 fish. The Bible says then they realized it's Jesus. Why? Because of a provisional miracle. They saw him providing all the time. Ha. Yeah. God is not the God just of having enough. Why? Because God says, I know some of you are saying, but God hasn't called me to be a billionaire. I know that. Maybe not. But I know that God has called you for you to have enough and plenty left over to share with others. That's at least what He's called you to. That's at least what He's called you to. So don't let religion lie to you. Don't let religion lie to you. And I'm not saying, listen, I'm a... I, 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 I'm very cautious of, you know, you know I, I teach on wealth, principles of wealth. But, you know, we don't serve God for what He gives. We serve God for who He is. I, 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 for me, my wealth is to know Him. But from my knowing Him, I see miracle upon miracle because I believe in living in the glory zone. There's a glory invasion taking place. How much time do I have? I don't know. I haven't even asked. I'm so sorry. God's about to do something. In 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 1, we read about a widow who served God with her family. She had two sons. And her husband was a prophet, a well-known prophet. Josephus the historian wrote that her husband was no other than Obadiah. Obadiah is one of the small prophets. He was a wealthy prophet. He's the prophet that took all his resources. He served King Ahab. And then he served Jerome, King Ahab's son. But Jezebel was after the prophets because she wanted to shut them down, shut up the voice of God. And so what he did, he took the prophets, 100 prophets, and he hid them in two separate caves, 50-50. In South Africa, we say 50-50. I see 50 works much better at this side. 50 here yeah, and 50 there. And so he used all his resources and then he went to Jerome. You can, you can go and study it. And he borrowed money from Jerome. So he made debt to provide for the prophets. He sowed continually into the kingdom of God without holding back. And he indebted his life. And now you see in 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 1, all of a sudden, Abadiah dies. He has a family, a God-fearing family, serving God. The Bible says, she came to Elisha and says, hey, 
I have a problem here. My husband died. As you know, he served you. As you know, he was a God-fearing man. The Bible scholar says he was even actually two notches higher in terms of reverence to the Lord and fear for the Lord than Abraham himself. He was a God-fearing man, but trauma hit the house. I don't know what trauma has hit your house. But you see, life is not only about health, wealth, and happiness. And if you think it is only about that, then you must just live a little bit longer and you'll find out there's trauma, <laughs> there's tragedy sometimes. Hello? The thing is, we just need to know how to respond to those situations, not react. Respond. But this lady was with her back against the wall. And she knew she needed an instruction from God. And the only connection she had with God was her association with Elisha. Because Elisha was a man who witnessed his giving, who witnessed his life, who witnessed that he was a person that was in covenant with God. And she came to Elisha and said, hey, I need a miracle in my life. There's creditors that's coming to take my sons away. And I'm sorry, but we did not raise our sons to be slaves. We raised our sons for their destiny because we are a family of covenant. And I need you to speak over my life, Elisha. I need you to declare a word over my life, Elisha. Speak over my life, Elisha. I've got nothing else. I cannot, the debtors, are, the debtors are coming for my sons. They were the most precious for my, son, my husband, my late husband, and they are the most precious to me. I cannot give them up to slavery, to the system of this world. I wanna to say to you, the enemy is a coward. He always, if he can't get to you, he'll come for the things that are most precious for you. And Elisha says to her, what do you want me to do? What do you have in your house? Only a little bit of oil. Says, okay. Listen to this instruction. I don't know what you've got left today. Maybe it's a little bit of hope. Maybe it's a little bit of faith. It's okay. As small as a mustard seed. As long as you put that into the ignition of the Holy Spirit. That's all. As long as you put that little bit into the ignition of the Holy Spirit. But you need a miracle. If you need a miracle, be sure you follow the instruction that God gives you. And so he says to you, okay, you do this. You go to all your neighbors. You go and find, she says, I only got a little bit of oil in a little small flask which was most probably in the scholars say that it was the anointing oil that Obadiah used to anoint people. A little bit of olive oil, a little flask like this, little milliliters, few milliliters of olive oil. And she says, and he says to her, you go now, you go and find all the containers you can, all the empty containers you can, you and your sons, go to the other prophets, she was in a, living in, a, prof, in a, a community of prophets. Go and get all those empty containers. Take them into your house, you and your sons. Walk into your house, open the door, okay? Be sure that the doors, you know, so many Christians pray for open doors. First, open the door to your secret place, okay? Because that's where things happen, okay? Because most Christians, I, many Christians I know, open the wrong door in their lives and then it takes them a lifetime to shut afterwards. And then you have to counsel them for eternity. <laughs> for them to come, come right. I know that God can redeem any situation. I'm just saying. Open the door to your secret place. That's the most important door. And then Elijah says, you shut the door behind you. So in other words, I'm, which I'm a man of God, but it's not me creating the miracle. It's the one we serve that creates the miracle. I can't come into your secret place with you. It's something between you and God. And she goes into that house with all those empty containers with her two sons and they start pouring. Oh. 
You know that that word borrow in the Hebrew means is shahal. It means divine, it means divine opportunities of prosperity. That's what it means. Go and find divine containers, divine space, divine opportunities to create prosperity. And those people gave things away. They compromised with them because they didn't see any value in them. They could have asked God to fill those containers for themselves. But so she got an instruction from Elisha. She took those containers inside and she started pouring. And God filled each and every one of those containers. I want to say to you, I don't know what you have in your life. But God can use that little bit and multiply it in a way that will supersede your expectation supersede your expectation God's already doing it in many homes I see it I see it because people are engaging in that and she kept on pouring until she saw that there's no more containers left and she screamed out to her son because she was still full of energy she could still go on because the miracle was flowing she was engaged in the fourth dimension in the kingdom that never run dry, never, never runs dry, never runs dry. And that was pouring, it was pouring, it was pouring. It kept on pouring. Bring me another container, there's no more left. No more left. And then when that last one was filled, the supply stopped. The supply will never stop if we keep on giving God capacity. The supply will never stop if we give, keep on giving God space. It's not about the supply. It's about the capacity. It's never about the supply. God will always keep providing. What capacity are you creating for Him? You see, I, just don't, I know just too many Christians that sh that's chipping away at God's word to fit their lifestyle. And not chipping away at their lifestyle to fit God's word in their life. You can go and read in the book of Leviticus and the book of Exodus and the book of Numbers when God gave an instruction to the people of Israel to build altars. He said, I want you to build a altar of fire for the sacrifice but be sure that you only use natural stone that you don't use a metal tool to chip away at the stone to build my altar because if you do that you will defile my altar and the sacrifice will not be acceptable that refers those stones refers to the word of God you cannot chip away at God's word to fit your lifestyle you have to chip away at your lifestyle to fit the word so that when you sacrifice, it will be holy and acceptable to God. What did God say to Cornelius? I received your prayers. So there are prayers that God will not receive. Every prayer that's prayed outside the purpose of God, God will not receive for your life. You, we are here to serve Him, not ourselves. We need to, come on people. The word of God is not a self-serving gospel. It's to serve him. <laughs> to serve his mandate. That's where the power is. That's where the glory is. I want to say to you today, there's divine intervention hitting your house. Listen, that lady walked out of her house not speaking about her problems anymore. That lady walked out of her house speaking about God's promises and about her future. <laughs> that lady didn't walk out of that house being defeated anymore. She looked at her future and she had vision for her life. God's about to do that in your life. Amen. Sir, what's your name? Lucas. Is your wife? Yeah, come here with your wife here. Yeah. God's got a divine uh, moment for you. Divine moment. Are you still okay? Yeah. 
The power of God's on you already. Look at me. Face me. Face me. Don't face the people. Face me like this. Yes, stand this way. So if you come forward, please face me sideways to the people. The glory of God's on you. I don't know what you do for a living. Are you in business? Sir. Okay, when I look at your life, I see that you are like a plane. You've just left your mark, your parking spot. All right, and you are taxiing to the runway. Until now, there was only one engine that was burning. God is igniting the next end, the, ne the other engine in your life. Raise both of you your hands to the Lord. Okay, so God's opening up things for you and God's expanding you. The enemy has now tried to, to actually hold things down in your life. God's not allowing this. God is setting everything free around you according to His will and His purpose for you. God is taking you to the runway. This is what I'm seeing, what God is doing in your life. God is taking you to the runway and now God's glory is on you. There's the glory of God's coming on you right now. Glory, glory, glory. There it is, there it is, there it is. It's the weight of God's presence. It's on you. And now just what happened now is God has taken His hand and He's removed things that's been limiting you, okay? There's a voice that has come against you that has been sent by the enemy to discourage you. God is silencing that voice and God is removing the enemy out of the way, out of the way. You shall prosper, you shall expand and you shall be wealthy as God has intended for your life, okay? Because the enemy has tried to bring poverty. That lady, is that your daughter? Is that the daughter? Come here. Hambrande shekere basto ndarara basto. Come here. Stand there. You see, we need to understand that God's visiting homes. You see, that lady which I just ministered on, you see, she was, her house became a magnet of destiny. Peter's house was a magnet of destiny. Don't you think that God's only got you in mind? He's got your children in mind as well. When you serve God, God says, I'm calling your children. I'm calling your children. Your children will serve the Lord. I don't, I don't care where they are today. God is calling them. They may be living in sin. God is calling them. Are you helping in the business? Where are you? What are you doing? Are oh, you 14? Wow, I look at you and you look big in the spirit. What? You wanted to say something else? You're just praying that your dad's business works. <laughs> wonderful. Isn't God a wonderful God? Listen, listen. You are dreaming. You are receiving dreams. Are you receiving dreams, ma'am? Mm. Are you writing them down? Why not? God said to me, ask her if she's writing them down. And God's instructing you to write them down. God is opening up gateways in the spiritual realm for you to be a, a magnificent warrior of God, to tear down the enemy's holds on your family, on your own life. Listen, God is, has put you on a, on a path of business. Listen, God is raising you, already teaching you in this early, early years for business. He's already teaching you. He's already, you're already an entrepreneur. You're already one. But God wants you to write down the dreams. You need to take a notepad every night, put it next to your bed. The morning when you wake up, you write them down because you have divine dreams. Raise your hands. God's now going, there's the weight of God's glory. It's coming on you there. There you are. There you are. There you are. There you are. Nebrando shekire basto darara basto. Isn't Jesus wonderful? I see shift, things shifting in houses. Listen. Come here, Christo in Zelda. Yolandi, come. I see God removing things. Daar is twee achter, meneer met die baard. Nee, daar is niemand achter jou nie, en ek is ook die skeel nie. Kom hier so, jy en jou vrou, kom hier so, gau, gau. It's a new chapter. Monday is a new day. Listen, listen. Monday is a new day. 
The favor of God's about to hit you now in a measure you've not experienced before. Now, there you are. Now, there you are. Now, the favor of God's making a way for you. Sir, the favor of God is making a way for you. You've been underpaid. I release the blessing over your life for an increase, a major increase. It will surprise you. I release that. Nebrando Shoko, your hearts are very pure. Are you serving in this house? Pochopstrum. Okay. But you, I see you are searching things, you are investigating. Oh my word. Very cautious to make the right decision. Mm. Very cautious. Wonder, wonder. You are overthinker, sir. Nebranda, but it's okay. It's okay. You've got a pure heart. And God's leading you into his destiny that is prepared for you. God wants you to know that. Yes, and you've not been wrong to put the foot on the brakes. But God's going to remove the foot because now he's about to hit the target for your, with your life. Listen to what God is saying to you. The enemy has come to kill, steal, and destroy in your life. You've just come through a huge drift. Is it so? Amen. My wife, you talk with me. Is that your man with my talk? She's calm. Nice calm, yes, never. Nice calm, yes, never. Okay. What are you? Okay. Okay. You're as lief here. And you're as calm here. But you've just come through a huge valley. God says, I'm now extracting you from the valley. Okay? This week is a week of miracles for you. This week is a week of miracles for you. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, your decision making will be done. You are carrying, you are carrying everything in the air. When's it going to drop? Hello, Munir? Is it so? So tonight, God will speak to you. And tomorrow morning when you wake up, you'll be sharp in the spirit and you'll know what to do and you'll take your decision you'll have total peace. Are you ready for that? Tell your hand up to the Lord. There's the spirit of God coming on you. There's the glory. Now, in the name of Jesus. There you are. Cho. Cho. There you are. God's, God's moving in your heart, sir, ma'am. God is removing things that has been restricting you. You could not show. You've been carrying the weight on your, in many senses, many ways, you've just been carrying weight. You were not allowed to speak. Because you know if you had to speak, the damn walls will break. God's removing that yoke. God's removing that burden. Now, from your life. Now. And there's the Spirit of God. There you are. Here is Bailey Fio. Here is Bailey Fio. It's a week of wonderwerke. You have already learned in your life. You have already learned. Finally, from the beginning. Waar daar belofte is aan jou gemaakt is en is gebreek. Gebreek en gebreek. Die Heere is bezig om dit te genees. Listen. God is, jy moet vir my sê, profeet, jy praat nou groot nonsens. Is dit so of is dit nie so nie? En jy is bang om weer te verwag. Nee? Oké. Okay. Wil jy die Heere moet dit wegvat? Oké. Okay. Maak die oor. Sê Heere, vergewe my. Ek verwag die goedheid en die guns op my leven van vandag af. In Jesus naam. Daar is hy. En daar raak die Heere jy nou baie mooi aan. Daar is hy. Voel jy jy jylle borsie boe, word vier warm. Voel jy dit? Is lekker nie. Heere is lief jy, weet jy. Ok. Kom jy drukkie. Ok. Amen. Praise God. Amen. How are you feeling, Lucas? I'm there standing, sitting here at the back. You, no, don't look back. Stand up. God's wanting, no, just stand there, it's fine. 
Just stand there. Raise your hands to the Lord. God is touching the broader spectrum of your family. You've got many concerns. You don't sleep at night. You've got many concerns. God's removing that now. Look at me. There's the glory of God coming on you now. And he's touching your family. He's touching everyone that you are concerned about. And God is bringing healing. There you are. There's the presence. There you are. There's the presence. There you are. God's glory is on you now. There you are. There you are. There you are. There you are. Ma'am. Ma'am. Look, stand up. Stand up. Yes, it's like skill means. <laughs> you have a son? Where is he? Where is the son? Come here. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Your prayers has been answered by God. Listen. Your prayers has been answered by God. And God's blowing over you. God's refreshing your soul. And God's energizing you at this age. You'll be running and you'll not become weary. Young people will look at you and say, where is grandma getting all this energy from? There's the glory of God coming on you now. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. What do you do for a living? Business. You know that the enemy has tried to kill you. Huh? You know that. Do you know that? God's been calling your name and God's been calling you to give a greater commitment to Him because He wants to take you higher. Do you know that? What? You know that. So what have, how have you been responding? Been distracted by doing a lot of things. So yeah. That just like you said, trying to manufacture Your own success. God's bring a stop to that today. The enemy has tried to invade your life with things that would have killed you. Listen, sir. You know what I'm talking about. Ne? Yeah. yeah. What's your name? Mpo. Mpo. Sorry, Mpo. Yusutu. Twana. I need Kuluma, so Twana. Don't talk Twana. Where's your wife? You're not married. You're, huh? You're not married. Are you running away from something? You are about to get married. It's complicated. <laughs> Where's the, where's the new lady? Where's she? I see someone standing next to you. Where is she? Is she here? Are you going to pay la bola? Oh, I must, I must stay quiet. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I'm revealing secrets here. Listen, are, are you angry now? Are you upset? Not upset. God is realigning things in your life. There was things that was out of line. Am I making sense, sir? I want to release an instruction from the Lord over your life. And it's going to shift everything in your life. You'll be set free. Okay? And then I'm going to pray afterwards for you because you're not united in the spirit yet. So I don't want to minister to you both together. But God has got a great destiny for you as a, as a couple that will go forward in life. Okay? Mpo, raise your hands. Look at me. The presence of God's coming on you now. And I'm releasing God's purpose over your life. 
and you will walk in His glory and you'll let go of everything that needs to be let go of and you'll walk in God's full destiny for your life. Okay, listen. You'll not be able to manufacture your own success anymore. God is calling you into the deeper things of His will for you. Amen. So I release this now over your life. There's the presence of God coming on you now. There it is. There it is. There it is. Close your eyes. Just keep it closed. That's it. Just, just relax. There you are. 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 Don't walk away. Just stay there. There you are. It's coming. That was the first wave. You've got to feel it now. It's coming again over you. The second wave is coming. Lift your hands to the Lord. Lift your hands to the Lord. I see tears when I look at you. I see tears. I see you crying. You've gone through a very tough season. Ma'am, is that so? It's a new day for you. Listen, God's going to provide for you. God's already really looked after you, eh? Even in terms of providence, He's really looked after you. But God is anointing you from head to toe. He's just told me, tell her, I'm anointing her from head to toe. And I'm equipping her for this season. What's your name? Huh? I can't say that. Okay. Look at me. Presence of God's coming on you. There it is. There it is. Say, thank you, Jesus. There's someone that hurt you early in your life. Is that so? You'd, something in your in ear that you need to let go. You've been hurt. You can't think of someone? No? Think about it. Can't think of someone? You're in your teenage years. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you prepared to forgive? Okay. Say, Father, I forgive. In Jesus' name. There you are. I receive your blessing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sure. The date flieg, huh? Sure. Time flies. Ma'am, they with the serving team. Yes, you. Stand up. Yeah. Let's go. Stand it up. It's fine. It's all tight then. You've really been in a season of rest, Restoration. You've really gone through some stuff to get things out, worked out and sorted out and a lot of things has fallen into place. This year, 2024, is going to be a year where you're going to feel literally, it's like new software is being put in you. Boom, boom, boom. You're being upgraded, okay? You are, serving is really your name. You want to serve and nothing, no task is too big for you. You'll do whatever you need to do as long as you can just bring value. Okay, you want to feel significant, but God is blessing you for that. You and your family is being blessed and being seen by the Lord today. All right, raise your hand to the Lord. There you are. There's the presence. I'll tell you, there's the first wave. It's soft. It's very soft. God's really refreshing your heart. Okay, there's the second wave coming on you now. There you are. There you are. Now the third wave will hit you when I tell you. Okay. Now it's coming on you. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Um, I think I'm done. People are looking at me. Oh. <laughs> you want more? Okay, I'm not necessarily going to prophesy over you, but if I call you out, you come and stand on my right-hand side until I say I'm done with the right-hand side and the others on the left-hand side. Is you know, okay, Pastor Petrus. Okay. 
All right, when I call you out. That lady with the blonde hair? Ja, ja, yes, ek is so blij, ek is okay. My oor is reg. <laughs> come, please. Come, please. Come, come, come forward. God is wanting to touch your house. Na bronda she, kere dasto, ndarara basto. This lady also with a serving t-shirt. Yes, come here, please. Yeah, on the right-hand side. Okay. This young man with a, a white t-shirt. Uh, this, that man, yes, come here, please. God's got destiny. When I look at you, I see destiny, destiny, destiny. I see destiny, destiny, destiny. Amen. Jylle tweekies, waar kom jylle vandaan? Is jylle van hierdie kerk af? Ok, van waar is jylle? Randfontein. Wat soek jy hier? Wow. <laughs> kom hier. Jylle, so my, jylle is nie getrouwd nie, nie. jylle keier net by mekaar. Of is jylle getrouwd? Verloof? Verloof, baie planne, nee. Trouw oor een maand. Jylle kan hier so staan, is fijn. Is fijn, ok. Jylle twee kies daar, blauw t-shirt. Hoekt. Ja, die heren het jou gehoekt, meneer. Is jy van hier af? Ok, kom. 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 Ok. And that man with the glasses. And the lady with the yellow. Man and wife. Come. Is that your daughter? Come. Tell up your hand and I'll too. Okay, raise your hands. Forget about me when you stand here. Okay, God's glory is visiting your house, ma'am. And he's shifting things. There's the glory of God coming on you right now. I see God removing things. Miracles are about to hit your house, one after the other. This whole week will be a week of miracles. God's glory is coming on you. One. There you are. Two. Three, there you are. There you are. God's glory. There you are. There you are. It's still increasing. It's still increasing. Now you'll feel like two bags of cement being put on your shoulders. There you are. Don't touch her. There you are. There you are. It's coming even heavier. Now there's like another two bags coming on top of those two bags. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's the weight. That's the weight of God's glory. It's even becoming stronger. Okay, so that's what the glory does. The glory is weight. If you want to understand the weight of God's glory, get my book after the service, Creating Your Weight. Not eating, okay, but spending time with the Lord. Okay, you've got destiny all over you. Sir, what's your name? Molimo. Raise your hands to the Lord. Destiny is all over you. There's the glory of God coming on you. There you are. Say thank you, Jesus. There you are. There's the glory. There's the glory. Oof. God is loosening something up in your spirit that's been just too long. It's been covered too long. He's removing that. You are getting totally and completely unstuck. Now, in Jesus' name, you are unstuck. There you are. Is, are you husband and wife? Who is this? Where's your husband? Why do you come alone? Come here, man. Come here. Okay, you've got a son. Get the whole family here. Okay, because I'm releasing the, listen, God is blessing families. God is blessing families. Your house is a house of destiny. Listen, a magnet of destiny. Look at me. Raise your hands to the Lord. Look at me. There's the glory coming now. There's the first wave. There's the first wave. Look at me. There you are. There you are. There's the second wave coming. Now, there's a much stronger wave going to hit you now. Now, there you are. Receive it. One. Oof, I see it coming on you now. There it is. <laughs> Receive it. Receive it. Ma'am, look at me. Did you have pain down here? Did you, did you have pain down here? Up on your shoulder and down here at this area? Did you have issues there? Issues, stand up. Feel that shoulder of yours. Look at me. God's healing that shoulder. You feel it? You are completely healed. 
completely healed. Amen. Completely healed. But I see your belly is, I see the mist, the glory of God on your belly. So there was, I don't know what was there, but God's fixed that. You are healed. Okay, you are healed. Bless you. God bless you. Okay. I'm going to give you hands for me to be right. I'm going to give you a few apart. Okay. What do you do for a life? Fashion designer. Ik zie, jij wil die engine aan die brandskop en dan gaan hij dood. Broem, 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 broem. En dan staan je weer op je huid. Dat is wat ik zie. Okay? En dan, dan vraag je die engine weer. Dan krijg je hem zo'n beetje gereef en dan vraag je weer. Dat is wat je hebt experiencing in je leven. Is dat zo? Listen, God says you will succeed. Listen, God is saying you will succeed. God is igniting. God is igniting your life. Raise your hands to the Lord. Look at me. There's the presence coming on you. There it is. There it is. There it is. In Jesus' name, a double portion. On your life. Now, you shall succeed and you shall take off. You shall run and not become weary. You shall mount up to the heights that God has called for your life. And I see that been, there's been opinions over you. There's been things that has been spoken against you. I break them down right now in your life. Right now, there's the glory of God. There it is, there it is, there it is. Kijk naar mij, wat doe jij? Online bezigheid. Maar je voelt bij constricted. You're not going to be there for a long time at all. Short period. You're going to start your own business. Listen, you're going to start your own business. I see you wanting to do certain things. You want to form yourself, develop yourself in certain things. It's got to do with IT. It's got to do with software. It's got to do with all of that. God says you must pursue that route. Okay? You must pursue that route. You're going to start your own business. You're going to have good contracts. God's called you for your own business. Raise your hands. Look at me. It's the glory of God. It's coming on you. There you are. Look at me again. There you are. There you are. Now. Now. There's that wave coming on you. There you are. There you are. There's that wave. There's it. Oof. You see, when the glory comes, He gives you all the solutions you need. He gives you all the solutions you need. He gives you strategy and blueprint. There you are. There's another one. Now come over here. Now come over here. Say thank you, Jesus. Oh, I see that you've been broken down. You've been held down. Even your upbringing wasn't easy. You've been spoken against. And it's lit. The, I see debris all over your spirit. I come against that debris. Listen, God, God wants you to know you're His son. And God says, just like he said to Jesus, in you, I'm well pleased. God says, in you, I'm well pleased. And that, what is God, what, if you forget everything I told you, just remember this, God is well pleased with you. Amen. Is the glory now. You needed to hear this from the Spirit of God. So God is reaffirming you as his son. He wants you to know that you are born for destiny. Listen, and you are about, uh, about, about to collide with destiny like never before. Okay? There you are. Tell your land up now, sister. All three of you. Tell up. Father, I thank you for visiting their house right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. And I see things that are being detached, that has actually been holding you back. God says, I'm detaching everything, every limitation, every weight. It will not keep you back. You will move faster. You had no more speed. You were running at a certain speed, but it's too slow. God is increasing your speed, spiritually and also in the natural. He's speeding you up. 
Receive this now. There's the glory. There you are. 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 Ha! That's it. Drink. That's it. No. Okay. That's it. Okay. There it's hitting your spirit. There you are. It's hitting your spirit. God's refreshing you completely. There you are. Drink. Drink. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. God's filling you up. You've been running on empty for too long. It's over. That season is over. That season is over. Okay? And now I speak a miracle over your life. For this week, miracles. In your finances, in your family, in every facet of your life. Miracles. You need a miracle. I come in against every mountain of debt in your life. Everything that is trying to pull you down will be eradicated by the Spirit of God. In Jesus' name, you are free. You are free. Amen. Bless you. Thank you. Raise your hands to the Lord. Raise your hands. Hmm. What do you do for a living, sir? You what? A fiat. You serve the Lord here in this house? There's greater responsibility coming to you. Spiritual responsibility. God is calling you on greater engagement for what God is doing in this house. Is this so? Oh, I don't know how to And so, yeah, this is serious, young. <laughs> this is serious. You are a great teacher. And God shows me He's put healing, the gift of healing, in your life. You work naturally on, on animals, but spiritually you will work on people. God says, if you will engage the way I'm calling you, you shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living in a measure you've not anticipated. God wants you to start here. And then he says, I'll expand what you're starting here under this roof, under this covering in other regions as well. Listen. Have you been going to Botswana lately? Uh-huh. It's part of your destiny. You see, I see Botswana, part of the destiny of this house. You'll have many conferences in Botswana. You'll have many women's conferences in Botswana. Many. Raise your hands to the Lord. You have heard what the Lord said. You must go and do what the Lord says. There's the glory of God. There it is. On you now. On you now. Receive it now. The first wave is on you, tangible, tangible. The second wave is coming on you now. Now, now, now. Third one, there you are. The enemy has tried to slow you down. I rebuke his work. Now, you shall have a clear mind and you shall function according to God's design. In Jesus' name. God's working a miracle in your body right now. In your body right now. He's working a miracle in your body. Raise your hands. You feel that in your spirit. You feel that. What do you feel? Hmm? It's bubbling because God's loosening you up. That's why it's bubbling. I see what the Lord is doing in your spirit. That's why I'm asking you, what are you feeling? Because I see God's hand doing this. You will encounter many things with the Lord in this year. Amen. God bless you. Sir, God bless you. Bless you. Love you. Love you. And uh, can I just pray a global prayer over you?
Is that okay? Let's all stand. Let me just release this blessing over every household. And then I'm going to give back to Pastor Pietrus. Hmm. Father God, I thank you for your presence in this place. I thank you for your glory. Your glory that's setting in on your people right now. I thank you, Father God, that you are tangibly, tangibly, tangibly. Listen, there's the glory coming. There is it. I see it. I see it coming now. There it is. There it is. There it is. It's thickening. It's coming. The first wave is already coming through from the front. There it is. There it is. You'll feel the second wave coming. Now, within the glory, things are shifting. Okay? Things are shifting according to God's will, God's design, and God's purpose. And God realigns and corrects everything that is out of line and is bringing everything according to His authority in your life. Raise your hands to the Lord. There's the second wave coming now. Second wave will come now. All right? And then, okay, oof, I'm seeing something in the Spirit. You'll feel it now. You'll feel it now. The third wave is coming now. One. On the count of three, you'll see it dropping on you. You'll feel it. Two. It's coming now. There it is. Three. There it is. Sure. There it is. Coming. There it is. Tangible. 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 It's the glory cloud. It's still thickening. It's still thickening. It's still thickening. It's still thickening. So in this time, right now, in this time, right now, God is removing things that is not of Him. And He's filling every sacred, sacred space in your life right now. There it is. 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 I see angels ministering right now. I see angels. Some of you, actually most of you, are going back home with angels you didn't come with. There's another, other angels that's following you back home. There you are. I want to say to you, Jesus is amazing. Jesus is precious. Jesus is wonderful. He's all glorious. And we give Him all praise. Amen. You are God's glorious people. You are His earthen vessel through which He reveals His glory. And you're opening up doors for His will to be established in, this, in the face of this earth. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. You will have this tangible presence of God on you for weeks. Okay? Enjoy it. Love you much. Bye-bye.